Hey everybody, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro here on YouTube. My name's Tom, I'm a UK professional organist, and as some of you may know me as also a theatre organist as well. And in this video, I thought we'd bring you a theatre organ style to organ tutorial. We haven't done one of these for a little while, and um, somebody made a request, I think it was last year during one of the lockdowns, he said, hey Tom, I love the video that you did all about um, overall theatre organ registrations, but he said, could we have some registration ideas for the different manuals on the theatre organ. Well, that's what we're gonna do in this video. Now, because of um, lockdown and obviously COVID things still going on, we're still a little bit restricted getting out to visit actual theatre organs. So we're gonna be using the virtual theatre organ for this. But let's go over to the uh, organ now and let's show you some really nice registrations. And the idea of this video is that in uh, a couple of weeks time, I'm actually gonna go and play my very first concert at a new venue. This is called Singing Hills Golf Club and they've got two beautiful Wurlitzers in here, um, an original two manual five rank, quite an early instrument, and then a much bigger three manual instrument which is made up of lots of different fine uh, theatre organ pipe work. And so when I go there to do my concert, I'm going to have to take with me in my head some what I call go-to registrations. These are ones that I've tried and tested. They're really good for a wide variety of songs and I'd like to share these with you now. So let's head over to the, uh, the organ and let's show you how to do some cool right hand registrations on a theatre organ. Let's go. So if you ever get a chance to play a real theatre organ, uh, which I, I get to play a few times a year in concerts, it's, and it's always one of the most exciting things, gang, let me tell you, is when you go and play an instrument that you've never played before. And uh, so um, hopefully the, uh, the the place where you're playing might let you set up some registrations, but if they if you can't or if they won't, um, you know, some of these theatre organ installations, they have a, what they call a memory channel capture system which if the organs on a on a, um, a solid state uh, relay system means that each organist can have their own set of pistons which obviously makes life a lot easier with lots of visiting organists um, but uh, you know if you if you can um, uh, do that then that's fine but, but even if you have to hand register this is um, a nice set of registrations and, and these are what I call my my pocket registrations they're, they're in my head I can easily adapt them or recreate them to different, uh, not only different makes of organs, but also different uh, sizes of instrument, because obviously you're not always gonna be playing three manuals and 25 ranks, you're gonna be playing maybe three manuals and six ranks, or two manuals and 10 ranks, or four and 16, you know, there's, there's gonna be a big, big number of permutations. So here's my first registration. I've put this screen on, we're using Hauptwerk, and this is um, a three manual 10 rank virtual organ. And uh, this is just nice to uh, just have a, a, a fairly basic set of stops. There's a few things that you, you wouldn't actually have in a, in a 10 rank organ in reality, but things like the one foot five, that's, that's almost unheard of. Um, but, but certainly things like the, um, the tiers, the, the, the twos, I mean, these three and fifths and five and thirds, again, they're, they're pretty rare, but it's a fairly standard uh, selection of 10 ranks. So my first registration is to use the tibia. Now, what you have to remember is, is that theatre organs generally have um, about 10 registration buttons for each manual. So here, look, we've got um, 10. And of course, Wurlitzers, uh, the early Wurlitzers used to use um, uh, numbers for the um, for the, the actual build-up of sounds. So you'd have pianissimo, piano, mezzo forte, forte and fortissimo. And the idea was that very quiet, quiet, medium, loud, and very loud. These were set up with a kind of a general build-up, and so any visiting organist could press these, and they would basically go in a kind of a graduated build-up, and that sort of became sort of unwritten law, as it were. 
So, but if you do have a chance to, to reset these, or maybe you could do these at home on your, your virtual theater organ, or maybe your home organ, if you've got a Lowry or a Verzi, you can probably recreate these. Uh, so if I press PP, that's the first one, I'm using the tibia eight and four. The tibia, as we know, is the fundamental tone of the theater organ, and that's just a nice registration to get going. I'm just gonna have a very soft flute and chrysoglot on the lower look, and a gentle eight and 16 on the pedals. So we're just gonna focus on this, on this top keyboard, um, the, the, the main, oh, it's, the, it's the top manual or the middle manual if you've got three keyboards. So we'll call it the grate for the purposes of this video. And of course the tibia, if it's a single tibia, it'll probably be quite large scale because it's acting as a solo thing, but it's also working, uh, it can work as an ensemble stop, but it, it'll be quite large. So it will stick, uh, it will actually work against that flute on the left hand look. And the chrysoglot just adding a little, little bells, but it's just a lovely gentle one for ballads. Very, very pretty sounds. That's my first one, tibia eight and four. So then moving on to that, I keep my, my tibias and then I start to bring in some of the other stops to add a little bit of color. So I'm adding the flute and then maybe the strings. Now you'll probably have at least probably one or two strings. Normally there's a string and a celeste, the, the gambas in this organ, but probably string, it might say strings, it might say violin. Um, uh, so you have vi violin and uh, celeste, maybe next door, they're yellow on Wurlitzers. And there's of course is the, the, the flute, which is a, a sort of a small wooden rank. And also perhaps the four foot string, um, just to add a little bit of, of bite, you see. So, now, of course, some of these registrations I'm sort of adapting as we go along, let me take that diapason out. So it's eight foot tibia, strings, flute, and then four and, uh, on the strings and the tibia. By the way, if you're trying to write these down, don't worry, because what I've done for you is I've put a screenshot of all these registrations um, in a printable downloadable PDF, which you can get as a bonus extra when you sign up and support my channel on patreon.com forward slash Keyboard Skills Pro. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of uh, bonus theatre organ PDFs on there on intros, endings, overall registrations, loads of stuff. So hopefully you'll consider supporting these videos. So now look, I've got a little bite to the registration. So I've got the tibia as the backbone, but it's just a little bit more. And you can see as I'm playing that, I can actually look it works as a solo, but I can bring this hand up to boost it. And so that works quite nicely as a, um, as a, a sort of a nice colorful registration. Now from there, I would probably want to build it. So the next registration adds a little bit more. You can see we're adding some of the reeds, like the, the, the Vox Humanas, maybe the clarinet. But, but what you could do also is if we go back to that first one, um, we could add the clarinet and the Vox, and then if you wanted to build it a little bit, um, you could then just simply add the sub octave, and that's always a good trick. Uh, I've got the diapason on, look. The, uh, the sub octave will then bring in the stops underneath, and it's always a, a quick way of changing a registration, just simply adding the sub octave. So if I did the middle eight of uh, Moonlight Becomes, you look, the, 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 here so we've got this, the previous registration, and again, we're building, you see, this is the idea, so as we, let me just set that into number there for a second. Um, so if I then go, uh, let's make sure that's off, which it is, because sometimes it doesn't. Um, there we go, look, and we're just now going forward. So just having a couple of reeds, look, the clarinet, maybe the over, if we wanted a bit more bite. So listen to the difference there, look. That's a bit pure. And then adding the diapasons and the reeds. And then if I want to bolster that, I put the sub octave on. We did this in a video actually about um, using eight foots and using sub octaves and octaves to increase the thing. So now I've got a bit of a, a nice full ensemble, but I can add to it. And I can take it away if I want. 
Maybe I could put, actually I might put the oboe in there instead of the clarinet. That's nice. Oh, I like that. It's got a bit more bite to it. Let's go with that one then. So we'll set that in there. So lovely tones there. Now number four, we're going to start to build the ensemble. Get rid of that one foot because that, that shouldn't really be there. Um, and now look, we're using the, the 16 foot tibia, the strings, the diapason, the, and we're going th right the way through. Look, all the the strings and the reed, not the vox, the eights, the fours, and also the twos, okay? So we've got the tibia, the flute, and this is just a big ensemble. Change the lower keyboard now. I can go back to the MF. Big. So you can see there how we're slowly gradiating the sound. It's, it's a gradient. That's the, the most important. Well, they gradually build up from um, from the first one. And of course we have a lower keyboard and a pedal and a comfort and a pedal to match. And then I can do my strings and my four foots. And then add my reeds. Make it bigger. I have my sub uh, sub octave. And then the really big one is F, where we add the uh, the one, the, the two foots, all the sixteens. And and normally, uh, I mean, I've got a I've got like some brassy reed stuff going on. But normally, what I do for um, for FF, I've got a, a registration up here, which I normally have for Fortissimo. I tend to have um, uh, like a church organ setting. So maybe like the diapasons, the flutes, the octaves, the strings, to keep the tibia out of it. Um, and it's just 16 eights, fours and twos. And that one has no trims. And that gives us a big church organ sound. And you'd always add the octave if you want. And that's very, very good um, for, um, for you know, marches and things where you want that, that kind of um, uh, big, big marchy sound. That, that really does work very, very well um, in, that, in that sort of setting. And of course, it, the, the thing of the tibia is when, it, when it's not trimmed, it, it never, <laughs> It never sounds particularly good. So uh, I was going to set that into that button there. That's just for the purposes of this video. So then as I'm playing, look. And of course, it's always fun when you're doing a big intro. to do it with trims off. And then you can go into your tune after that. So, so some nice registrations there, just five of them look. Going up, P, or number one, um, we've got uh, the strings and the four foot tibia and string on the next one. That diapason is optional. And then MF look, we're adding a reed the Vox, um, maybe maybe the Diapason, and then we've got the option of adapting that with the octaves. Um, we've then got a uh, bigger full ensemble look. We've got 16s all the way through eights and fours and up to the two. You might have a one foot five, but that's a very 
I, I've never played an organ with a one. I well, have I played a one with a one on? Probably once, maybe, but it's a very, very unusual rank. Um, and then the Fortissimo, I would go for that nice big church organ setting um, without the trems on. And what we'll do, uh, we'll, 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 we'll cancel all these other stops, look, and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll take a snapshot of that, um, and then you'll be able to um, see that and uh, on the PDF and download it. So that that's a kind of a, a go-to set. I, I, I can easily remember that that basic fundamental structure, and I can build it up from there. Now after that, I'm going to want to have some some different registration, some something different. So how about an eight and a two-foot tibia for that open harmony work? <laughs> That's a nice registration. Um, I could go for a sort of a, a black y sort of sound look with all the eights and the and the the two and two thirds and the one. And this is kind of you know tibia, reed, strings, flute, box, all of it. But these mutations are what make it sound a bit black esque You know that kind of noise. Oh, hang on, pressing completely the wrong button, of course, as we. <laughs> he seems to know what he's doing. Which button do I need? I need that one. Is it the right one? That's completely the wrong button, Tom. Uh, that one, that's the one. And it's sort of a bit reedy. Okay, so that's a nice little registration there. Um, I've got, um, as we said, the church organ one. Um, and also to that, that sort of that one with all the eights and the fours and the and the mutations. Uh, it's good to have a novelty one with like the xylophone and the glockenspiel. So that's very good um, for, you know. You know, you can sort of get that kind of noise going on. So that can be, that can be quite nice. Um, and one of my favorite registrations is, um, is um, uh, uh, this little one where you get uh, the the strings and the voxes and everything and the flutes, but then um, you use the thinner sounding sixteen. So if you get like this kind of registration, though, you get strings, flute, vox, tibia four. That's the important one because the four foot tibia will really cut through the ensemble. But then on the bottom end with the sixteens, um, just use the strings and the vox none of the heavy bigger ranks and that kind of gives it a really lovely really pretty sound and you can get right down the bottom there so that's one I like I also like the four foot tibia and the Gockenspiel. Because after the Gockenspiel's done look, you can hear the tibia is still singing in the background. So that's very, very pretty. Um, one of the other, uh, I think we did this in the other video with the overall registrations, but if you do the strings and the vox um, all at eight and four foot and then whack the octaves on, you get this beautiful shimmering. Beautiful for all those lovely sounds. So there we go, so just, just a few ideas, um, what I call my pocket registrations, my five that I can go through and build up um, the first five, and then I probably will have another five in which I can put in five maybe novelty, uh, solo, you know, ensemble registrations, but I've got that build at the beginning, that's the important thing. So even if you can just remember those five, something along those lines. It means when you go to that theatre organ, you've got some easy registrations. And if the guy or the person says, hey, well, you know, there's a memory channel over here, 
and we can set you up your registrations if you want to have half an hour setting up some settings before your playing session um, or maybe you go and visit a friend with a you know a Lowry or something and uh, you know you've had to adapt these registrations and uh, yeah it, it, it's fun to do it's fun to do so so um, thanks to whoever it was <laughs> actually I tell you who I think it was I think it was Dr. Dr. William Walden who um, asked for this video I will check my emails but if it was thanks to Dr. Walden um, who lives in America and uh, yeah so so we'll probably do another one of these but we'll do it using the accompaniment and again just having some of those ideas maybe a accompaniment and pedal linked um, together look so we can set those up which will be nice but in the meantime everybody thanks ever so much for watching and uh, try some of those uh, try some of those out and uh, yeah it's good uh, it's good fun good fun and to say pocket registrations take them with you to the next time you go and play a real theatre organ thanks for watching everybody and we will see you soon here on youtube for another video please do hit the subscribe button check out the other videos and if you'd like to support the channel and also get the bonus pdf that accompanies this video and um, please do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro or if you just want to support the channel in general maybe hit the join button and that will let you become a member of my youtube channel to help support and uh, make it grow. Thanks a lot, everybody. My name's Tom Horton. Check out my website, tomhorton.co.uk, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.